Okay, guys! Fucking! Fucking! Scope kicking time! We had the weird eyes! We had the fucking weird eyes Easter egg and I missed it because I was screaming! Oh my god, the weird eyes were there and I missed it! <laughs> Hang on, uh, let me actually change the category real quick. So yeah, this is the this is the this is the thing. Like, I, it's funny that we talked about Connie and Scoop Kick just there because I actually planned on finally playing Scoop Kick on my uh, for myself on stream for the first time since I released it. I haven't played this since then. I I don't think I have. And this is the okay. This is the best part about making games. You make a game, then you don't play it for like three years. Then you play it again, and it's like, holy shit, <laughs> you know, because you forget everything about it, so it feels like a new game, but your past self made it for future you. That's like, mind-blowing. But yeah, we're finally gonna play Scoop Kick. Let me just dodge down all of this shit. Let's see what will be good, let's try that. Yep, yep. Alright, Steam connection still works. I always stress about that. Like, if I open Scoop Kick on Steam, and the Steam connection icon on the right is red. It never has been, by the way. But I'm always afraid it is, because that means something has broken or changed in the backend, and I have to update Scoop Kick. <laughs> but yeah, fucking... Uh, delete. Erase save data, because we're going in, like, pure. There we go. Starting fresh. The scoop always look like balls. <laughs> Testicles. Boop kick. You still think an arcade just marathon mode would be cool for this? That's true. It's something I actually did consider, but like... I don't think I have it in me to update it anymore. I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with it as is. Let's go! Scoop kick, more like testicles kick, more like CBT. <laughs> No, it's poop shit, get it right. I forgot about this intro. <laughs> Alright, do even remember the controls? It's Z and X, there we go. I, I mean, only X. Okay guys, here's how you play this game, because I saw some people struggle with this game. When they played it. So I'm gonna show you how to fucking play this. Because I made this game. <laughs> how, how, uh, how's the volume, by the way? Is the game too... ...loud? It's loud, all right. There we go, that should be better. Can't hear anything now? Okay. Okay. Didn't get the score at all, that's... I forgot that's a thing! Okay, hang on. Let's try that. Should I go for all the medals? Do I want to make a fool out of myself? And be like, it's my own game and I can't even get the fucking score? Well, let me just first play the game and we'll see how it goes. Release the OST already! <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, I will actually do that. Because I said I would do it after the Connie release trailer, trailer dropped, but then I forgot, so yeah. I will try to get the score medals, but I won't like, go out of my way to get them. This reminds uh, you that Donut Dodo developer was talking about putting together an arcade-like bundle and wanted to include Scoop Kick but couldn't add you. That's nice. 
The OST still isn't out? No, because I keep forgetting. Also, it's it's such a shame I forgot the source files to the music, so I can't like remix them so easily. I will I will still like do that. Connie will include some scoop kick remixes, but it's it, it won't be as easy because I lost the source files. On the wall is a FNAF reference, guys. Bet you didn't know that. <laughs> Lazy. Blueberries go up, strawberries go down, and raspberries go in the middle. <sighs> you always expected Steam trading cards to come to Scoop Kick eventually. Added by Steam itself, but still no cards. Not sure how that even works for releasing games. Uh, to get to unlock cards for your game, you must have, have, have a certain amount of players, and Scoop Kick just has not, has not reached that threshold, sadly. Mr. Ice! You would recommend reaching out to him. I'll, 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 I'll check it out. Who's the dev of Donut Dodo? <laughs> oh yeah, the Grape Escape. That's a Rayman reference, guys. But you didn't know that. Oh fuck! I'm actually gonna die. I think for the dev score you gotta like kill the grape at least once, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm happy with just the normal score medals. Oh no, he's coming! He's fucking coming! Now this guy's coming! This is so bad ice cream. <laughs> bad ice cream is a great game. The music is pumping. So here's the thing. Uh, the bonus levels are all about like manipulating the AI of the enemies. But berry berry payback is the hardest one, if I do say so myself. <sighs> it might take a couple of tries. Because I don't remember like i remember the strawberries go down blueberries go up but it might still take a couple of tries <laughs> you it is it is me i made the game okay let's try it Okay, guys going down.
you gotta like get them to come from left and right and then have them go up and down and you gotta like swoosh in between. Let me see if I can do that. I gotta stay on the right side, otherwise they will go left, and that's no good. There we go. Oh no, now these guys are in the mix too, that's not good. <sighs> oh no, no, everyone's there! Wait, I think you are still allowed to lose some lives to get the trophy. You just can't run out of all of them. Wait, there's this one Metroidvania indie game that released yesterday. You only heard it when you released, uh, but it already gained massive traction. It's called Animal Well. It looks really interesting. I've never heard of that. Let's take this opportunity and go here. Oh, look at the blueberries! Blueberries stuck for good! Amazing. Alright, now I just gotta manipulate these strawberries. And go down. Thank you. And go up. Thank you. All right, now we gotta take care of the blueberries. Wait. Gotta do this safe. That's how you fucking do it! <laughs> yeah, beats Bonanza. You felt really stupid yesterday when you were telling your friends about Animal Well, saying, Look, there's this cool indie game being made by a solo dev. People probably haven't heard of it. And then you look around and see everyone has already played it and is talking about it. <laughs> nice. You wish you could play by Scoop Geek without anal poker tutorials. I was considering putting my games on like itch.io as well because not everyone has steam so maybe itch.io could be like a good alternative for people to buy the games if they want like scoop kick and connie in the future Score sucks. Uh, what is what is this? You're really glad arcade likes are taking off as a sub genre. Hey, there you are. <laughs> Not on Twitter, it seems. Yeah, fuck you, Elon Musk. Fuck you, Elon Musk. <laughs> Send the stairs. I like that too, because I do enjoy arcade games. My favorite, of course, being Burger Time. Told them to email me. Thank you, that's actually good, because I do have a public email address. Ah! 
I pressed the wrong button! This won't do. Boom. If the oranges really just mind their own business. They don't care. I don't fucking care. By the way, guys, I've been working on Shrek Playtime is Ogre 2 this week, and uh, even though I do say so myself, it's looking fucking schlapping. And I also realized this year is the 10th, 10th anniversary of Shrek Playtime is Ogre 1. So, like, this is the time to release a sequel. Okay, we got the score medal there. Just by 100 points. Palm Tree Garden. You got the score medals, you dingus. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I'm not trying. You don't want to see me try. God. Stop playing Scoop Kicking, you want to eat ice cream now? Good. Ice cream is the food of the gods. And I'm not joking, by the way. You feel like ice cream right now. Oh uh, yeah, because it's hot. It's fucking hot. I could have gotten the high score if... Um, yeah, I could have gotten that easily. You know what? But enough of this bullshit. Let's actually start unlocking some high scores, shall we? <laughs> Hungry the dino! Alright, Banas. There we go. Two toppings, that's good. Ooh, three toppings. Alright, I guess we're going here. Oh no, he fucked me. That's fine, we got the score. You took a week off of Twitter as a break, and after you clicked on a tweet link, a friend sent you, the site is already pulling you back in. <laughs> Let it take you! Oh, this one has a strat. Let's see if I remember it. it has something to do with manipulating the banas. Ah, uh, but now there's another banana in there. And we're out here and they're in there. And...
There's this report from a reliable leaker on all things Sega and Anthos that says that the new Sonic Pillar team is being formed, compromised of staff from all the major regions. Ah, uh, this guy's gonna fuck me. Uh, who will all be directly involved in the development of future Sonic titles. Sonic Pillar. History repeats itself. <laughs> Remember the banana bug? Ah, uh, yes. The weird banana version. Release the weird banana version. The weird banana cut. Ooh, the score, we got it. This game and Vivid Globe, Vivi Globe made you realize that the worst enemies are the ones that are just tall. <laughs> nice. Night at the carnival, here we fucking go. Crusty Carnival. Stop hiding! <laughs> this music reminds me of something. Mm. Scatterbrain music? That's what they called me in school. Scatterbrain music! <laughs> You were listening to a song about music that was so godly that it made everyone who heard it die. <laughs> it's that music. Oh yeah, here's the freaking Halloween update levels. We're gonna leave those uh, last. There was also... I was planning on doing a Christmas world as well, but... It was during my hiatus, I didn't have the energy in me to do it, and now it's like I've moved on. <laughs> Is the music from Rayman Redemption? It's a remix, yes. All you need to know to decide if Connie is 10 out of 10 uh, or not is if it's gonna have a Kirby style boss rush or not. It will have a boss rush a la Rayman Redemption. And I guess by extension Kirby. But the bosses have been designed to be more Kirby like and not like Rayman's weight punch, weight punch. The bosses, I'm at least trying to make them be like, you can actively be on the offense and like, you know, do damage. The key ball! We need more actually engaging boss battles in games. Yeah, not like the snore fest that is like Mario boss fights. <laughs> I think Kirby boss fights are a good standard to aim at. At least try. Oh! Oh! 
Rather than the wait for opportunity attack, wait again, rinse and repeat. Yeah. Can I get the, uh, the freaking... Yeah, easily. <laughs> every half, every platformer should just copy Kirby. Half joking. It, it's true, I agree to an extent. That's why it's funny. Freely the Fox! This is the character that was designed by Pep. Did you know the Kirby devs have said Kirby is canonically a war criminal? There we go. This is the level while making the game where I realized that I had to make the doors reflect the balls as well. Because otherwise you could like soft lock yourself if you kicked. Wait, this is the level where you can pull off the achievement by killing like five enemies at the same time, if I'm not mistaken. With one single roll. Like, this is the easiest level to pull it off in. Hey, I reached the score. Ishiwan, you know how. It's the Pepcore you instantly knew who designed it. It's true. Pepcore. <laughs> Melon Mayhem. Melon Mayhem. Oh, my back. I don't know why the voice made my back hurt. Look at them! They, like, when when making these enemies, I, I, I tried, like, for the maximum, like, oh, energy. Oh, fuck! You fuck! No fucking way! You sent the fucking message while I said... Bro, get off my brain! Get off my wavelength! <laughs> I was like, yeah, these guys have the maximum, like, oh, energy. And then you I look at chat and you said it at the same time. This must stop. <laughs> but it's true. They have the... Oh. Are you winning the scooper? Hell yeah, this is the... Let it be known here, publicly, putting Nebula Aurora live on blast. He still hasn't streamed or even played Scoop Kick. Shame on him. For shame! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. Okay, I think we have enough toppings, we can do this. <laughs> Bro fucking calling you out like that. By the way, guys, you want to know something cool about this game? Originally, oh no, ball, please, ball. <laughs> Originally, blueberries were also dodging you, you know, by running away. And there's actually, the sprites for the blueberries running away still exist in the game. I never removed them. And you can activate them if you know which boolean to activate. But uh, Pep recommended that the first enemy shouldn't run away to get accustomed with the controls, and that's that's good.
<laughs> it's fine, you still haven't played it either, it's still on your wishlist. No, it's, it's completely fine. You've owned it since day one, but you still haven't touched it. <laughs> Alright, Melon. The only bonus level where you can actually kill enemies, because you have the key ball in your arsenal. Let's do this properly. <laughs> you beat it day one, you're slacking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Originally, I intended the dev score of this level to actually include you killing one of the melons, but even I deemed that too fucking hard and didn't do it. You know what they say, summer is ice cream season? <gasps> oh my god! Melons get in the middle, there we go. Then get down the Twitter curse when you try to take a break, but somehow Twitter manages to suck you back here with that shot. I'm not like saying it's not real, because it most definitely was real, even when I was on Twitter, like constantly checking it and getting that like calm in your brain. When you saw that blue blue one next to the bell, you were like, "Who liked my tweet?" Crazy freezer. Mm. I think this music might actually be my personal favorite from this game. It's kind of like just, but I I I enjoy it. It's just some guy banging cowbells in the back, like, what the fuck is this? You remember this level was hard for you? Yeah, the ice levels are surprisingly tight because of how chaotic they are. Like, there's just ladders and platforms everywhere. And there's a lot of instances where the guys can fuck you like this! Because there's dead ends. And once an enemy reaches a dead end, it's over. Is the red bird that shows up at the intro of each world going to end up being Morphonite or something? Haha. <laughs> Ha 
Yeah, you get the biggest score in this level if you stack all of them in one cone. You're gonna try, keyboard, try to restrict yourself to only use Twitter on desktop, if at all. Honestly, that helps a lot, because that's what I did. Like, all, all the years I used Twitter, I only had it on desktop and not on phone, because then I could actually, like, wind down, wouldn't get the urge to check. Sorbet Pingu or sorbet. I l <laughs> I made I made it myself, but I fucking love the sprite of this pingu. I'm gonna make a full game about this pingu in one day, like where she's the star. My favorite character from this game. Oh, fuck yeah. We have the teleports, I forgot. The score, though? Yeah. <laughs> you also only use social media on desktop. That's true. Don't get it on your phone. That's the best, best, like, tip I can give you. Don't get social media on your phone. Bingo. The clown is the best one. Well, the clown is pretty iconic. <laughs> Slippery slopes. I like how there's just one pole up here preventing you from dropping the ball, like mid tile, if you know what I mean. Oh, this level also allows you to like rack up insane score if you like know which teleporter to kick at. Because there's an infinite loop in this stage. Yeah, it's this one, I think. Hang on. Yeah, and if you go right from that, you have an infinite loop. You can just rack up an infinite score in this level. But we're not gonna do that. There we go. You used to only, uh, you used to have blue sky and Twitter on phone. You still do not use a lot of the a lot less since you only use Discord as frequent as you have before on your phone. Yeah, Discord is a bit different in my opinion. I mean, it kind of depends if you're in a lot of community servers, I guess. But yeah, since I only use Discord to chat with like pretty much my friends, it's not as bad. You've already been restricting yourself from social media, especially Twitter, for a bit. Very rarely now do you use Twitter on phone, and you only go on desktop a little bit to check on some fellas. Yeah. Yeah. All right, pineapple time! These guys can surprise you, so watch out. They should have a sound effect when they fly down. Why did they add a sound effect? God damn, does it bother me that they're completely silent? <laughs> okay, let's leave the, cre leave the creamy one for the top, so we get the best score. The boss OSD got a slap though. Thank you. Tight. Tight gaming right there.
Uh, we're not gonna get the score, but that's fine. Oh, maybe the one-ups will save us. What oh, they did! Reminds you of Kellogg's boss music. Hell yeah. That's a compliment. I love Kellogg's music. Tantalizing teleports? This one is fucking crusty. It's not about manipulating the AI. Well, it kinda is, because there's the letters in the middle, but... I remember there's like a strat to this, but... I'm not gonna fucking remember the teleport placement anymore! So let's just hope for the best and fear the worst. Which one have, haven't I gone through yet? I... this one? Okay, which one haven't I visited yet? Okay, it's the left one. Okay, and they come from the middle ones. Okay, that's good to know. Holy fuck, how many of them are there? Easy! Peasy! No, I hit my ass! Levon, squeezy. Right fucker level, yeah. And I think now it is good old eggplant man. Grape juice grinder. Here's the final world, which is like suddenly omega hard. But I do like how I made it so like each level has one of the bosses returning. Corrupt Corporation! That's such a hardcore name! Is it? Kind of egotistical to like sit here and just enjoy the thing I made. Does this make Scoop Kick Cannon to Connie? I mean, you tell me. Oh no. Let go of the Finnish attitude. Be proud of your creation. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's true though. Ah! Finland has a lot of that like downplaying the things you made and not being proud of it. So what color is the red ice cream? Not the pink strawberry ones, but the red one. Also the strat to this level is to like... Get them to... Get them all into a clump and then you can like... Do whatever you want. I'm gonna leave that one if possible. Never mind. Oh no. Yeah, and they can only spawn like five grapes at maximum, so if you kill all of them. Or, like, if you let them live, they won't spawn more, so you have, like, an advantage, you can, like... Should we try to manipulate? Oh, this is the first level where I'm gonna get a game over! Oh my god! Let's get the hell out of here as fast as possible. go okay let's just let's just get out of here Ugh. scoop kick would take place after connie you imagine eggplant man would be a liar and take credit for connie's deeds <laughs> usually pink is more raspberry and red is strawberry well the classic strawberry ice cream is like pink all right here's the banana level that slayed many souls i've seen it live Let's see if I can pull it off. Can't- This is so fucking mean! You can't let the bananas fall down! I mean, the scoops! Holy fuck. What was I cooking when making this? Because if they fall down, they respawn back to the top.
This is like true original Shrek Playtime is Ogre energy right here with this level. Rise Dark Side. Oh boy. When I get to make those hard levels, I fucking make them. And I love it. Uh oh, the other banana is here. This is not good, but it's also good actually. Because now we can use them to get to the other side and have a freebie. Watch this, gamers. No, you were supposed to stay together! Oh no! Don't go down! Holy fuck. There, we got it. The strat. Let's go all the way up. All right, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Oof. What is that score medal? Oh, never mind. Oof. I thought I was supposed to kill the bananas. This was the level with the banana glitch, you think? You keep forgetting the command to request gains. Uh, Rybot is down, so... Oh no, never mind, there it is. Uh, it's suggest, yeah, it's suggest. Suggest space and write whatever you want. Melon Mash Maker. I went full on sadist mode with this level as well. Like you're forced to run back and forth. You know what? No regrets. I love this. This is like a puzzle level, not, not like an ordinary level. out for the melons. Pineapple Bit Slicer. <laughs> I like how all the names are like destroying the bosses. Grape Juice Grinder. Banana Split Press. Melon Mash Maker. Pineapple Bit Slicer. Mickey Mania Mickey's Wild Adventure. I actually had that on the fucking uh, thing. My notepad. Mega CD version or PS1 version, whichever of these you want. I'm, I'm probably gonna check it out at some point. Another mean level, but another one where it's like easy to rack up points. <laughs> Holy fuck, that scared me! No! Then it gets pooped out back at the beginning. Oh, 
Top 10 ice cream hoop butters. It's Plumber Man from Connie. It's Eggplant Man! <laughs> I get it right! <laughs> I sounded way more distressed by that than I actually was. Don't worry about it, it's funny. Plum Boy from Cattery. <laughs> Nice. We're gonna top it off with the double two. Still not enough for the score medal. That's kind of nasty. Some of the score medals are like whack in this game. No way, eggplant man from Wrecking Crew. Now that's now that's I like that I like. Duty fruity terror. This one isn't even about manipulating. This one is just about surviving because everyone is here. Me The strat here is to, once again, get them all into one nice blob and just run away. Except Bruce, because Bruce likes to run away from you. And Orange does whatever Orange wants. Out of here, Bruce! Don't you dare! There we go. This level's tactic is mad dash. Alright, final boss time. The Juice Mastermind! It's so fucking corny and edgy, I love it. So this level has an insane achievement. It's the one where you gotta like clear this level without killing any of the blueberries that it spawns. And like <laughs> it's pretty hard, but doable. I'm gonna shoot the balls! How about ye? But to get the score medal, you gotta maximize the toppings, like so. So what is it that he's shooting? It's like some pink goo, but what is it? Bubblegum? Ice cream? Obligatory arcade like mecha boss. <laughs> Alright, anyone get up here so I can kill you. The juice TM. <laughs> it's the dry jelly! How could I think of this before? Bro has access to the jelly! Dancing in the controls reminds you of Spat from Hamtaro. There might have been some subconscious like inspiration. Yahoo! We beat the game! We got it! 
<laughs> I like take a plant man's face. It's time to pay back. Probably got the reshoot him up section. <laughs> you like with the way the characters just run. We're exposing the Terminator core of the apple. Is it rotten to the core? The Kirby is omnipresent. <laughs> yes! And I love it. Fucking Raymond Redemption shots right here, though. Nothing crazy, but it is cool. Eggplant man done did him. You defeated the evil juice bunch and got all the stolen ice cream back. Bros just kept the ice cream on like shelves in a vault? What the hell? Money. Wait, that's me. With the help of Peppermint Bubble and Scooch Sieg. Special thanks to Yaki was here and Mark Productions. My friends and family. The cast. <laughs> wow, what a game! Now kill Burger. Let's see if I have enough medals to do that, but yes, I will. Bob the Blueberry, Sam the Strawberry, Raz the Raspberry, Gary the Grape, Mini Gary the Grapeling. On solo the orange, Baltasar the banana, Cheryl the cherry, Milo the melon, Milo, Bruce the blackberry, Penny the pineapple, Adam the apple. <laughs> okay, I gotta ask, who the fuck is this Romani guy? Eggplant man. It's written with a fucking like dash. Okay, that's weird. I'm gonna retcon that. In the Connie trailer, it's just Eggplant Man all together without the, like, line in the middle. Alright, I did have enough um, medals to reach it. That's good. There's some, some uh, mercy in this game. Alright, Extra World Sausage Complex. <laughs> no! Okay! E everyone I saw play this were like, what the fuck is that name? So let me like take this moment to actually try to explain my train of thought. Each world, or like for the last world, I thought there would, uh, like, the names would have like a theme, something to do with like the city. So complex is like kind of like a building, like a, like a, like a, a giant uh, building in the city, a complex. So it's called like sausage complex because it's like a building filled with sausages. And I genuinely didn't think like what it would sound like if it's just sausage complex. It's like back rows, but sausage, yeah. <laughs> sausage ice cream? Just you wait. Oh, bad guy cry.
Hell yeah. Truce. But alas. <laughs> the burger time invaded. Fast food frenzy. Sounds like a late game monkey ball stage name. <laughs> that's so oddly specific, especially as someone who doesn't know anything about monkey ball, but that's funny. So yeah, this is the, this is the burger time. With like coronavirus music. Oh no. Ooh, oh, never mind. <laughs> ice cream with hot dog? Yeah, don't you like your ice cream with hot dog juice? Yes, my favorite ice cream. Vanilla with hot dog sauce. <laughs> Who eats their ice cream with ketchup? Deep fried despair. Well, if you don't like ketchup, how about like greasy fries or like fry grease? Also, yeah, this uh, freaking pack of fries is kind of like... Um, kind of like the grape, but like a normal enemy variant. It also spawns... All three of them, like, super quickly. <sighs> the level layout in this is kind of tricky because you gotta, like, predict where the enemies are going. Due to the placement of the ladders being so like far away from each other. They'd be called stuff like totalia tota totalitarianism or wavy auction. Wait, <laughs> what is? Oh yeah, the ice cream with the ketchup. This part of the track is like really spiral. Oh, I should have pushed it to the left instead. That's where the other ice cream balls were. <sighs> Tell a fact about Scoop Kick that nobody knows. Hmm, interesting. Huh. Hmm. Hang on. Let me open up my... Scoop kick project folder. Um, if really was supposed to be a bear at first, that's your fact. Initially, Adam the Apple was supposed to be a dragon fruit. Here's even like the sprite base, but I don't actually remember why I changed it. It could have just been that the face didn't work on the dragon fruit or something else, but that's how it is. <laughs> oh fuck! Okay, look at this thing. Apparently, oh my god, apparently... I didn't even remember this one. Apparently, originally, I planned for the melon to be the apple instead. Look at this. It's even like the old face when it's not like, oh, yet. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, apple makes more sense as the leader of the fruit. Exactly. And melon makes more sense as the one that spews out the, the things. Oh yeah, also, I could show this off, probably, since the Christmas update kinda fell through and I didn't make it. There's an unused sprite for the 
durian fruit right here. It would have been in the Christmas update because it's like spiky and kind of looks like the Christmas tree. Maybe I'll do it someday. You know, like nothing's preventing me from like five years later suddenly updating Scoop Geek. If I feel like it, I might do it. Okay, that's pretty much it for what what comes to those those things. All right, let's uh, get ourselves a burger. The guy liked your tweet telling you to email me. Hell yeah! Did we unlock a new character yet? No, not yet. Con the update confirmed. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, what was this level called? Oh yeah, we have the fucking guy who shits everywhere. <laughs> That's what he sounds like, his brain is melting. And yeah, don't touch the collar, it hurts your ass. Oh, n oh, oh. Yeah, you like cola on your ice cream? Actually, that's not weird. I think people do that. <laughs> oh no, the cola! Oh, never mind! Oh, never mind. You like the cola gummies? Yeah, I like them too. They call them floats. Bro, watch how... <laughs> watch how my... <laughs> Wait, float? Watch how my ice cream can float on my cola. What the hell? Oof. Okay, we got it, gamers. Even got the score. Is it there a cola flavored ice cream anyway? You know, there's bubblegum flavor, but they don't know about cola. Yeah, hmm, interesting. Ice cream with soda is good, yeah. Okay, guys! Burger time. Because it's fucking burger time. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's think. Yeah, so the guy jumps to the layer you are currently on. And you gotta, like... Attack him! Uh oh! Okay, there we go! The secret final boss! Ooh! Can I escape that? Oh, why didn't it spawn the freaking things? Uh-oh. The hamburger, the leader of the trash food. Oh, I'm gonna die. Played through this whole game thinking you only have two lives. <gasps> well, you have two lives, but zero lives counts as an attempt. You just restarted whenever you died. You didn't realize you had three under this now. Uh, I, I can understand the confusion. I think there was someone else who also like it's worded a bit weird, like the requirements for the medal as well. But you lost the medal when you reached this screen. That's how it goes. Like, that's when you lose the medal. Be 
Bew, bew. I think the concept of a zero life is often not used. That's... wait! I think that's the majority of games. Like, when your counter reaches zero, that means you are on your last life. And when you die when it's zero, that's when you, like, game over. Like, when you die, your counter goes down by one. But when it's zero, it means you have zero lives left. Not that, like, it's game over time. Life counter is stock reserves. Yeah, exactly. That's how I've always seen it, and... Most games do it that way, if I'm not mistaken. kind of implies it ends when you lose all of them, like Zelda. Yeah, I understand it in, in post. The real end. You defeated the evil trash gang. <laughs> I forgot I called them that and got back the stolen cone. Look at that apple tongue. Wouldn't you want to eat the apple tongue? Okay, we can reach that once I do the Halloween levels, the final bonus level. Halloween levels. Okay, never mind. The Halloween music track is my favorite. I'm really proud of that one. <laughs> Nightmare on Jew Street! Let's go. Brutal Burial Ground. Bole, bole. Now, where have I heard that name before? Oh, also the worst enemies here. The fucking pears. Because they spawn a ghost that fucks you if you're not careful. Uh, yeah, careful. Moaning in the music! Who's moaning? <laughs> A ghost? Probably, yeah. Oh, fuck! Never mind. Oh, never mind, never mind! Double never mind! Ooh, look at that score, though! <laughs> so here's a pet peeve that I have with, like, big budget uh, DLCs or, like, updates. That the DLCs never, or at least it feels like DLCs to big games never add anything, like, b truly new. It's always just, like, old enemies reskinned, old boss reskinned, and it, there's, like, a new attack or something, or something like that. So that's kind of what I wanted to, like, defy with this update, and add some, like, actually completely new mechanics to each stage. And for this one, we have the Mario Bros. Fireballs. <laughs> I'm not sure if anyone else, like, knows what I mean or can relate to that, but that's how I often feel about, like, big DLC. <laughs> BALLS! God, I love balls! Ooh. 
Yo, look at this. The score is gonna be insane! <laughs> You'd be happy with just new scoop pick levels with old mechanics too. That's fair. But since it was like, you know, I'm only working on this update, might as well like add something new to each level. Night of the Living Fruit. Oh, this one. I, I like this one, personally. This might be my favorite because it's so... <laughs> funny. Just lighting up the room. Originally the enemies did not have lights on them. But that was way too mean, so I did, like, add it. Plus, once you light up most of the stage, it's, it's pretty, like, mundane. There's even an achievement if you manage to light all of them. This game's sprites are awesome. Thank you. Oh no, I was way to the left. Way to the left. English. The Pear Reaper. Pear. Pear Reaper. You need to hear the laugh? Well, pay attention. Um, the easiest way to play this level is to not kill the bosses. Just let them live. Don't even attack them. Just let them live and follow you around. Because if you kill them... Okay, let me show. There's a big ol' Reaper after you! Also, yes, this guy is directly based on the fucking Brutal Burial Grounds boss from Dark Magician's Reign of Terror, but it's a pair. You always loved how this game sprites never held back. The saturation on those colors. Thank you. This is the only boss that spawns in twos. Oh, never mind. No, banana does that too. But this is the only boss that dies in one hit. It doesn't have an HP bar. Go up! Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. He did. It's true. It is. This game is littered with Dark Machines and Reign of Terror references. There's the laugh! Yeah! <laughs> the laugh! Let me wait to kill one of them, maybe I'll get the score. Fucking Joker ass laugh. Oh, I got it! Alright, let's do the final bonus stage now. Ooh, never mind, there's actually two, I forgot. And we got Grease the Clown. Oh yeah, and Kali the Skeleton from the Halloween update! <laughs> Milk. So I'm gonna play this one as Grease. <laughs> it's fucking nice! Then the next one as uh, Kali. Milk. Is 
that you? Wait, you mean this fucking clown ass, clown ass, clown ass, clown ass guy? Accurate representation of me from real life. So yeah, pear goes up, uh, pumpkin goes down. So that's how you can manipulate them. Oh fuck. It's dying time. You were talking about the laugh! <laughs> no, the laugh is a stock sound effect. It's not me going like berserk on the microphone. <laughs> Noob! <laughs> oh, he eat the bird when you beat the stage. Alright, final bonus level time. So the backstory of this guy is that uh, she ate too much ice cream, got a brain freeze and died from it. You just realized the switch success for coming soon means the return of smash speculation and that that's it, no smash. Oh my fucking god, I can't live through that again. I can't fucking do it. Oh, the pyramid scheme, I remember. I think this one has... Yeah, this one ain't too bad. It's gonna get so toxic again! Yeah... Oh. At least you're not, you're not on Twitter anymore, true. I will be spared. At least a little bit. Can't wait for all the Twitter accounts to reactivate, like, come sock for Smash! <laughs> you never even use Twitter, keep it that way. If you never used it, don't start. We're only missing a couple medal medals for the maximum medals, but even after that, I wouldn't unlock the last character because this special character needs all of the dev score medals to unlock. You know, I'm not gonna say what it is. If you know, you know. If you don't, tough luck. Callie doing the Fortnite dance when she wins. I guess you just have to play the game. Also, look at this. I have all the achievements in the game. Even get all the dev score medals? Mm-hmm. Because I did that. I did that when I tested the game. Oh, the secret room! I almost forgot! Let's do that! Let me show off some of the cheats in this game. So, to enter cheats in this game, you must find the secret room, and you find that by going to the very first level. Was it the first one or the second one? I think it was the first one. Let's uh, let's try. So, you gotta wait for the enemies to come out. <laughs> Then, if it's this one, you kick this wall. Yeah! And you have uh, entered the cheat room. And there's a bunch of cheats in this game, you enter via these like icons, but this one... All blueberries. Did it work? Hang on. Because the all blueberries one is funny. Let me show you. I'm gonna go to the Tutti Frutti Terror stage, you're gonna, so you can really see what's up.
<laughs> no, it didn't work! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh yeah, level fast travel should have been a thing in this game. Because now I'm just like running around and go... <laughs> Wait, but what's the code? It wasn't all blueberries then, it was something else. Okay, I'm gonna check the source code. And nobody got time for this. You feel like it's all blueberries except one slot. Have you revealed all the cheat codes in the game yet? Or are there ones we don't know about? Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't remember. Let me check the actual source code and see. I'm gonna reveal them all here right now. Gonna reveal them tonight. All right. Let me get out my uh, game maker. Scoop kick. There we go. Scoop kick source code leak. Um. What's it called? Uh, funnel logos map. Secret. Here we go. Secret manager. All right, let's see. What do we have here? What are the codes? So there's all levels cleared. All, oh, all level clear medals unlocked. There's all heart medals unlocked. There's all score medals unlocked. Super kick activated. Blueberry mode activated. And funny mode activated. Okay. Those are all the cheat codes. I'm gonna... Go through all of uh, the three ones, not the unlock ones. I'm gonna start with the blueberry one. It's blueberry, 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 and then eight. So it's the one. So it's like the the grapeling, right? Yeah, blueberry mode activated. All right, I'm gonna show this one at a time. So the blueberry mode replaces all of the enemies with blueberries. But they're not actually replaced. They just change their appearance to look like blueberries. But the AI still acts the way it would with the original fruit. So here it is. You can see it best here. Pay attention to the banana and the melon. And I think the grape multiplies. Yeah, they have red feet though. Yeah, it multiplies into other blueberries! <laughs> what if there's a tall item because it's the banana? Uh, look! The one is spinning! It has an exclusive spinning animation. I, I like this. I love this. Fucking forehead Mac blueberry man. What does the cola one look like? I don't remember if those get replaced, but I guess we're gonna find out right now. Full course dinner. This one had all of three of them. Okay, they do. Okay, it's just spewing out. Yeah, and this guy still spawns the other blueberries. All right. It's just leaking. All right, let's go back to the first stage and check out the other ones. There's uh, the super kick and the funny mode. Let's do super kick next. I will never forget the day when Rai Mom was like testing this game and she found the secret room by accident. Like she was just hugging the walls and kicking and accidentally found the secret room. I remember when uh, I was working and she was like, help, I got stuck in a weird room. And I ran over and she's in the secret room and I'm like, what the fuck? How did you get in here? <laughs> Alright, so super kick is... One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be it. Yeah, all right. Let's go test it out.
So here's what you can do with super kick. Just kill enemies! <laughs> that pesky enemy getting in your way, just kick them. You no longer have to rely on the balls. You can wrap, rack up quite the score with this. Oh wait, you don't get score from the super kick. That's actually pretty clever from my part if I do say so myself. Wait, do you get any score if you have cheats activated? Oh, you do, okay. So it's just the super kick doesn't kill, get your score. All right, let's go do the funny mode. Your miscreant murder head cannons are coming true. <laughs> All right, funny mode. This is the last one. This is the one you actually revealed. Yep. Did I accidentally override it? We'll see. <sighs> Alright, guys. It's funny mode. You see all the balls are brown? What could this be? You, you hear that? Oh! Yeah. That, that guy who wanted to, like, have Scoop Kick as part of their, like, sale event is sees this and they're gonna go, like, Never mind, I'm not gonna send that email. <laughs> Unfunny mode? Dude! Dude! That was the funniest mode ever. Alright, and there's the help screen and all that shit. Alright. That's it for a Scoop Kick. Surprisingly uh, quick. Didn't I didn't expect to be able to beat it in like what an hour, hour and a half. But I'm happy. Hell yeah, scoop kick. Really proud of that game. Thanks for uh, playing it. Thanks for purchasing it. Anyone who did. And uh, hell yeah, be on the lookout for uh, Connie. <laughs> My next game. <laughs>